I'm going to show you how to create watercolour flowers. It's going to be easy and just right for beginners. Hi, I'm Anna Marie from Art by Anna Marie and I'm always just dabbling and doodling with watercolour. So this is a completely random watercolour doodle. I'm so excited you'll be able to make your own watercolour flowers that I'm going to swap my artwork for one of yours. I'll give you details about that at the end of the demonstration. So here we go. Remember there is no preparation at all required with this kind of watercolour flower demonstration. I started by just mixing a light pink, taking a big layer brush and swishing some watercolour around the page so that it resembles oval shapes that I'll later make into petals. You really don't want to be precious about these shapes at this point. Just have some fun with a very light shade of pink and making your ovals. One trick I will tell you is most paintings, even abstract ones, look better if there's a composition of three. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean that if you're thinking of painting one blob of pink, then your painting will look much more balanced if there are three blobs of pink. This works with petals as well as individual flowers. So hopefully you're joining along with me. All I have done is started with my light pink and my thick brush. Now I'm taking the same pink but it is less diluted. So I'm adding a little bit of detail in or a little bit of extra colour in just over the lightest possible layer. And again we are just doing this completely off the top of our heads. There really is no wrong way to do this kind of watercolour. It is the best spot to start with because you just can't get it wrong. Every flower needs a middle and in this case I'm just going to introduce some yellow into the middle and you can really see the beginning start of a flower pattern. I'm taking the same yellow and I'm going to just dab 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 around the page adding a little bit of extra colour. I'm keeping all my colours really watery at the moment and just introducing a really light layer because I like to go over and layer things several times but really just having a lot of fun with it. Have some fun picking up some colour and moving it around and don't be exact. If you get some of your pink blending with your green or your yellow it really doesn't matter. It's your painting and there's nothing to say where your colours need to be or even because it's watercolour there's nothing to say where they're going to end up either. You've covered most of your page now with a fine layer of lighter watercolour. Change your brush out to something a little bit smaller. Here I've chosen one layer smaller than the brush I was using and I'm going to go over with a slightly dark, darker colour. But again, it's the same colour I was using at the beginning. It's the red and the pinks and I'm just going to go over and I'm just dabbing it. And at this point it really doesn't matter where you're dabbing it as long as it's over your lighter layers. Just have some fun and dab it on your page. Remember we're just doing this off the top of our head. There's really no thinking to it. If you notice a colour and you want to introduce it then you introduce it because it's your picture. From time to time you might see me grabbing a little bit of water with my paintbrush and dabbing it onto the colour that's already on the page and what this does is it just creates a little watercolour effect where you push the colour to the edge of the watercolour mark and I quite like that so I was playing around with that a lot in this picture. Remember this is a very easy abstract watercolour flower just off the top of my head you just need your three flowers and then just go around in some green. You're wanting a very non-focused green background. It doesn't matter if your 
greens blend into each other because you're just trying to create a bit of an atmosphere. Most of the time my paintbrush you see there it's just pushing some paint around. I'm going to swap out now for my finest layer brush and I'm going to introduce a little bit of purple and what this is going to do is it's going to create a bit of depth. Your best shade colors are purple and gray and in this instance the painting is still wet so the purple that has the most pigment is going to stay where you placed it but purple that's a little bit more watery is going to blend in with the other bits of your page that are a bit more watery and that's exactly what you want because we're just doing an impression or you could use this kind of a activity as a sketch if you're trying to compose a flower picture. I like to use it just to move some paint around the page and just to kind of get your creativity started, especially if you haven't painted for a little while. I'm going to take a lot of the shadows on the right hand side of the painting under the petals and uh, where, the gra where the leaves are and I'm going to highlight them in this purple colour and you'll see when the purple dries it's actually going to blend really nicely as a shade. But so that my painting's not all the same I'm going to take a blue on the same colour palette, any blue that you have over to the left hand side of the painting and this is going to create a little bit of a difference that when you're looking at the painting at the end you're probably not even going to notice that you did that, that you segmented it but really what it does is it creates a little bit of interest for your eye so that your eye can have a, have a rest but also have a little bit of something to look at as well. So over one side you want to add your purple in, just little splashes and dabs and lines of purple and on the other side you want to add mostly a greeny blue in, remembering it's still quite wet and you're still using quite a wet paintbrush and layering it with a layer paintbrush as well. For this watercolour flowers demonstration just off the top of my head, we're nearly finished. You want to think about where you want to finish, how much detail you want to put in. I changed my paintbrush for the last bit of detail to a sable paintbrush which doesn't hold as much water so it'll hold a lot more pigment and then I just go in to where I've decided some of the lines are going to be a little bit more defined and again this is just off the top of my head so I've got no photo that I'm following along with and you don't need a photo either you're more than welcome to follow along with this clip playing in the background but really it's just up to you deciding where you want to put the lines if you use a similar composition to mine then you know this composition is going to work and if you put the shading in a similar place to the petals but everything else just off the top of your head and just having a play around with. Finally, I offered an art swap on this painting and I'm going to try to do this once a week. So if you're not already subscribed, click the subscribe button down below and also click the bell so that you're notified as soon as I upload. To be able to get this painting as an artist swap, you need to join my closed Facebook group called Art by Anna Marie's Big Painting Challenge, where I have lots of different challenges that carry on throughout the year. When you have completed watching this video and you've joined the group, what you want to do is go onto that Facebook page and upload a picture of the painting you want to swap for my painting and then I'm going to randomly draw one out or I'm going to you know decide with the rest of the community members on how we do our art swap. It's also a really nice place to meet other people that want to support the art community. So 
I'm going to post a picture of this in my Facebook group and then I'm going to mail it out to somebody who's going to mail me one of their paintings and I really hope to be able to do this kind of artist swap once a week especially just on little doodles that we all decide to draw without any prep and just have a little bit of fun and support each other in this creative endeavor so hopefully you'll like to do that check out the description links because in those um, description links I'll put all of the details to how to do an art swap and it's something you might even want to do um, with your own friends or inside my closed Facebook group as well. I hope you've enjoyed painting along with me this watercolour flower. Very easy for beginners, just off the top of your head. You're just trying to get some colour on the paper. You can kind of see by the end of it that it's finished. I've decided to sign it because we're going to do a little art swap. If you've got any suggestions on things that we might like to paint once a week together just off the top of our heads or if there's colors or patterns leave a comment in the suggestion leave a suggestion in the comment box below and thanks so much for watching